So hi there students, welcome back again to another video lesson. So for grade 7 mathematics quarter 4. So on the previous video lesson, I already discussed uh, on how to solve for the mean of group data. Wherein, uh, diniscuss ko po doon kung paano yung dalawang paraan ng pagkuha ng mean. So which is using direct method and uh, the assumed mean method. So, for the next video lesson, we will be discussing median of group data. So, when we say median, this is the middle value. When the data are arranged in either ascending or descending order. So, for our lesson objective, we will calculate the measures of central tendency of group data, specifically Median of group data. So, since group data na kasing pinag-uusapan natin, sabi ko nga dun sa uh, video lesson natin sa mean of group data, so kailangan ko talaga silang explain separately. Hindi katulad ng ungroup data, so isang video lesson lang po yun. So, let's start. So, we have median of group data. So, the first step in solving the median of group data is to find the class interval which contains the n over 2 score. Okay, so, ang unang step natin na ginagawa kapag nagsasolve tayo ng median is yung pagkuha ng tinatawag na median class. Okay. So, malalaman lang natin yung median class natin kapag yung n, yung total frequency, dinivide natin sa 2. And then, uh, meron tayong additional column dito, yung tinatawag nating less than cumulative frequency column. So, i-discuss natin siya mamaya. So, less than cumulative frequency column. So, doon natin malulocate kung nasaan yung ating median class. So, again, kailangan muna natin i-divide yung, yung total frequency sa 2. And then, tsaka natin uh, gamitin yung less than cumulative frequency column para malocate yung median class. So, let us now proceed to median of group data. So, I will be introducing the formula in order to calculate the median of group data. So, here is the formula po. So, dun sa mean, di ba, x bar siya. So, for median, ayan siya. Yung parang pa-wave sa taas. So, kapag nakita natin yan, that is median. So, ayan po ang kanyang formula. So, didiscuss natin yung mga variables na nakikita nyo dyan. So, una, ayan, median yan, yung symbol for median. And then, LB, so, that is the lower boundary of the median class. So, sa ibang reference, yung LB na yan, makikita siya as ganito. Ayan. And then, N is the total frequency. CFB or CF sub B, that is the cumulative frequency of before the median class. Okay, so mamaya explain natin yung cumulative frequency na yan. And then, uh, F sub M, that is the frequency of the median class. So after natin ma-determine yung median class, uh, easy na lang po, na madali na lang pong identify yung frequency. So hindi natin ma-identify yung frequency hanggat hindi natin ma-identify yung median class. And then finally, yung I is yung interval. So, ayan po ang formula for uh, calculating the median of group data. Now, let us have an example. So, dito dalawang examples po yung ipapresent natin. So, para mas maintindihan nyo talaga kung paano ina-apply yung formula. So, for the first problem, so calculate the middle age of 40 junior high school teachers of San Isidro National High School. So, by the way, I am a teacher from this school. So, kaya yan na lang ang ginamit ko. So, ayan. Yung ating data. So, we're talking about age. Edad. Okay. So, ayan. As you can see, 
yung ages, yan, 59 to 65, and then up to 24 to 30. And then yung frequency per class, ayan, naka-indicate din. So, let's start. So, let us have the frequency distribution table. Okay, so, ayan. So, dito, yung interval natin is 7. So, paano kunin ang interval? So, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, yun lang po. Bibilangin lang po natin yun. And then, N. So, N is 40. So, kahit hindi na natin yan i-add, So, kasi naka-indicate po dito sa problem. So, for counter-checking na lang, pwede naman natin i-add. So, next, less than cumulative frequency column. Okay. So, paano natin ma-fill ma out yan? Okay. So, ang gagawin natin dito sa lowest class natin, 24 to 30, yung kanyang frequency is 7, yun po ang pinakauna nating isusulat. And then, we'll add successively pataas. Okay. So, Ano ang i-add natin sa 7? And that is 9. Yung frequency po ng kasunod na class. Next, upper class. So, 7 plus 9, that is 16. Plus 11, 27. Plus 5, we have 32. Plus 6, we have 38. And then, plus 2, we have 40. So, make sure yung n po natin, yung total frequency po natin, nakatali po dun sa sum. Doon sa upper class nung less than cumulative frequency. Ayan, as you can see, 40 din po yan. And then, n is equal to 40. Okay, next. Calculate the median class. Okay, so para hanapin yung median class natin, okay, so yung n po na 40, i-divide natin sa 2. Okay, so location muna nung uh, median class natin. Okay, so yung n natin is 40. I-divide natin sa 2, and that is 20. So, located po yung median natin dun sa 20th score. Okay, yung 20th score po natin ang magsisilbing uh, median natin dyan. Okay, so, saan located yung 20th score na yan? So, uh, dadako ngayon tayo dito sa less than cumulative frequency column. So, yung frequency ng 24 to 30 is... 7. So, hindi siya 7. Next, dito sa kasunod niya, 16. So, 16 is less than 20. So, hindi pa rin po natin makikita yung 20th score dyan. So, punta po tayo dito sa next upper class, yung 27. So, located po dyan yung 20th score. So, ibig sabihin, yung median class natin ay located po dito sa 38 to 44. So, median class nasa 38 to 44. So, dyan po natin makikita yung hinahanap nating median, yung middle age. Next, to calculate the middle age, add one column for less than cumulative frequency. So, na na-add na natin kanina. So, ito po yan. So, now, since meron na tayong column for less than cumulative frequency, So, we are now ready to calculate the median. Okay. So, yun po yung formula natin. So, bilugan lang natin ulit itong 38 to 44. Ito po ang nagsisilbing median class. Tandaan nyo po yan. So, next. Lower boundary. Okay. So, since yung 38 to 44 ang ating median class, makukuha po natin yung lower boundary kapag nag-subtract po tayo ng 0.5 dun sa lowest, okay, lower class limit. So, sa 38 to 44, ang pinakamababa natin is 38. Yung 44 naman yung pinaka mataas. So, dun sa 38, magdusubtract tayo ng 0.5 and that will be 37.5. Next, yung N over 2 natin na nakuha kanina is 20, di ba? Minus CF sub B. So, yung CF sub B na yan, that is the cumulative frequency before the median class. So, yung median class natin is 38 to 44 na may uh, 27 na nakalagay sa kanyang less than cumulative frequency. So, yung sa ibaba po ng 27 is yung 16. So, ibig sabihin, yung cumulative frequency before the median class is 16. So, 16 po ang 
ilalagay natin. Tandaan natin, kapag nalocate na natin yung mids and class, pupunta lang tayo sa ibaba, yung next na kasunod niya. Hindi yung pinaka ibaba, yung kasunod niya mismo na nasa ibaba. Next, over frequency of the mids and class. Oh, the frequency of the mids and class is 11. Ayun. And then our class interval is 7. Next, 37.5 plus, yan, so si simplify na lang po tayo, so 20 minus 16, that is 4, over 11, times 7. Next, 37.5 plus, so yung uh, nasa loob ng parenthesis, yung 4 over 11, so i-divide lang po natin yon. So, 4 divided by 11, ang makukuha nating value is 0 0.363636. Ibig sabihin, repeating digits yung 36. So, sulat lang natin as 0 0.36 lang. Times 7. Next, 37.5 plus... The product of 0 0.36 and 7, and that is 2.52. So, yung last step po natin, i-add lang po natin yan. So, 37.5 plus 2.52, ang sum na makukuha po natin is 40.02. So, ibig sabihin, yung middle age po na hinahanap natin is 40.02. 02. Okay, so pwede naman natin yung i-round uh, down, magiging 40. So the nearest whole number, 40. Ibig sabihin yung middle age is 40. So next, next example. So calculate the median grade of 35 grade 7 rows students in mathematics. So for the next example, we are, be, we are to discuss... Uh, grades of students in mathematics. So, ayan po yung ating data. Okay, so grades. As you can see, the highest possible grade that a student can obtain or can get is 99. And then the lowest is 76. Okay, so ayan. Indicated po dyan yung total frequency, yung N, that is 35. So, calculate the median grade of 35 grade 7 row students in mathematics. So, same steps din po ang gagawin, gagamitin natin. So, ayan. So, punan po natin yung laman ng frequency distribution table. So, under interval, 76, 77, 78, 79. So, yung uh, interval po natin dito is 4. And then, N is 35. So, sa ibang mga reference, sa ibang mga books, yung N, katulad lang po siya ng summation F. Okay. Baka hinahanap nyo kasi nasa module nyo, students, ang nakalagay is summation F. Summation of F, i-add natin yung frequency as well as yung N. Ganun din. Pareho lang po yan ng value. Next. Less than cumulative frequency. So, ganun pa rin. So, sulat natin yung 6 dito. And then, mag-add tayo pataas. So, 6 plus 1 will get 7. Next, 7 plus 8, we have 15. Plus 13, we have 28. Plus 5, 33. And then, plus 2, 35. Okay, so nagtali naman po yung ating uh, sagot. 35 is equal to 35. So, the next thing that we need to do is to calculate the median class. Okay. So, yung N natin dito is 35. I-divide natin sa 2. Ang makukuha nating sagot is 17.5. So, located yung ating median dun sa 7, yung median. Ito yung 17.5 na score. Okay. So, yun po yung ating nakuhang sagot. So, ilolocate ngayon natin kung nasaan yung 17.5 na yan. So, looking at the less than cumulative frequency column, yung 17.5 po, located po siya dito sa 
to 88 to 91. So, yan po ang ating magiging median class. So, tandaan, hindi natin ma-identify yung median class kapag hindi natin dinivide yung n sa 2. Okay. So, median class natin is 88 to 91. So, let us now calculate the median grade. So, yung ating median class is 88 to 91. So, one tip na pwede kong i-share sa inyo is uh, malalaman natin na tama ang sagot natin for median kapag yung nakuha nating sagot is nandun or pasok dun sa range ng median class natin. Pero may mga instances na halimbawa, uh, ang nakuha nating sagot is 92. So, pero mostly, yung sagot natin is nandun sa range ng median class. So, let us now calculate the median. So, using the formula. So, yung sinabi ko pong tip na yon hindi siya uh, always ha. Kasi depende talaga siya dun sa nakocompute natin. Pero usually, uh, ganun siya. Pasok yung sagot natin dun sa median class. So, tingnan natin kung applicable siya dito. So, yung lower boundary natin is uh, 87.5. So, paano natin nakuha yon So, mag-subtract tayo ng 0 0.5 dun sa 88. Plus, n over 2, nakuha natin kanina is 17.5. Minus, the cumulative frequency before the median class, and that is 15. Nasa ibaba niya. Over, the frequency of the median class, that is 13. Times, the class interval, which is Four. Next, 17.5 minus 15, that is 2.5, over 13 times 4. So, i-divide natin yung 2.5 sa 13. So, kapag dinivide natin yun, ang makukuha po natin quotient is 0 0.19. So, approximate lang po yan kasi... Hindi naman exact. So, times 4, ayan, 87.5 plus the product of 0 0.19 and 4 is 0 0.76. Finally, we'll add 87.5 and 0 0.76 will get 88.26. And that is the uh, value of the median. So, yung median grade na hinahanap natin dito is 88.26. Okay. So, yun yung median grade ng uh, students from grade 7 rows. So, pwede naman natin i-round up to the nearest whole number and that is 88. Kaya lang dito, kasi syempre, hindi naman natin may iwasan talaga na may decimal value talaga siya. Pero there are some instances na sakto ang ating nakukuhang sagot. So for our last video lesson for measures of central tendency of group data, so we will discuss mode of group data. So mode is the most frequently occurring data, uh, most frequently occurring value in a set of data. So ayan, so i-discuss po natin yan sa susunod na video lesson. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.